Hey you guys, welcome back to the Hollywood Group Chat podcast after show. Today I'm going to be reviewing Baddies East, I think episode four or five, I think four. No, five, because I skipped four. Um, before we start, I have a few things I want to tell y'all. This month I'm giving away $1,000 to one lucky subscriber. I'm going to leave the link in the comments. Click the link, download the link, and type done in the comments once it's done. And that enters you into the $1,000 contest. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to win some money, download the link below. Also, um, I'm going to pin the link to my new book. It's called Good Head. Um, Aligning Your Thoughts and Actions for Success is a manifestation workbook. You can get it on Amazon. I'm going to uh, pin the link in the comments. It's a really cool book about basically how I manifested like everything that I have today. And it comes with like worksheets so that you guys can use some of my techniques for manifestation. So now we're gonna get started into the episode because I already recorded this once, but I was not recording. So I have to do it over again. <laughs> Y'all, I love my man, just saying. Anyways, okay, so this scene starts off with Tzatziki squaring up with Krishan's friend, Marge. I think that's her name. Why is that her name? It's okay. And um, honestly, Marge is a small girl, and Tzatziki is, like, really hefty, like, built like a football player. So for Marge to, like, square up with Tzatziki, like, with no, like, Mar Marge wasn't scared at all. Like, she had no fear in her eyes or anything, her body language, nothing. Um, she scores up with Tzatziki, and I think she got maybe a couple hits in, but Tzatziki beat Marge up, like, the fuck up. And it's crazy because I don't... Ooh. What the fuck? Okay, I thought I lost my notes. Okay, I don't understand this whole, like, situation. So, if I'm Krishan... I have questions. Well, I'm not Krishan. If I was asking Krishan questions, these would be my questions. One, why would you have your friend to jump your sister? I don't get it. Like, Krishan kept saying that, oh, well, you, you threaten to beat me up. You threaten to slap me. You try to slide on me. Like, I have sisters, and me and my sisters have gotten to it multiple times, and I have threatened to beat their ass. But I would never have somebody jump my sister, ever. One. Two, Krishan, these are supposed to be your friends, and obviously they ride in for you. If they came and jumped your sister. But then you saying your confessional, like, I mean, my sister want her fade with, with my friends. They better bring some mace. You know your sister is, is going to beat them up. So why would you even set your friends up to get beat up? Like, that makes no sense. And then, I think those are the only two questions. Oh, the third question I have is why your friends are getting beat up. You're just standing there watching. Like, you are not a good friend, my love, at all. Um, so then Tzatziki starts to... Okay, so she beats Marge up. Marge is bleeding. Um, then she goes on asking where um, Janet is. That's the Hispanic one. So Janet squares up. Clearly, Janet don't know how to fight because she don't even know how to square up. So Janet squares up, and um, she starts speaking Spanish. I don't know if the Spanish was giving her some type of energy, some type of, like, adrenaline... But I really didn't understand that because why are you speaking Spanish? You're still about to get beat up even if you spoke French, Chinese, like Tzatziki's about to beat you up. So before Tzatziki could get her lick in uh, with Janet, Mar Mariah Lynn jumps in the fight and she punches Janet and Janet like falls to the ground. Um, I'm usually like not okay with jumping. Like I'm not like pro jump a bitch. But... The reason behind Mariah jumping Janet makes sense to me, and I kind of support that because if anybody want to jump my friend, like you're getting jumped too. Um, I don't know how close Mariah and Tzatziki really are in real life, but on the show it gives that they're super close, and I would have done the same thing for my friend. Um, so, oh, oh, also, so um, the Janet is really lucky that Mariah Lynn. Um, knocked her to the ground, because I feel like if Janet would have fought Tzatziki, like, it would have been over for her. So Mariah really saved Janet for anybody who feels like Mariah shouldn't have jumped in the fight. She saved Janet. Um, 
So after the fight is over, both fights are over, Krishan is still trying to state her case. She's saying that like, oh, Tasiki, you try to set me up, you try to jump me, you try to slap me. And whatever Krishan is selling right now, I'm not buying it because it's given that you play a victim when you're like literally the pot stir and all the mess. Even the Tasiki and Natalie beef, like you were behind that as well. So I just feel like Tasiki, I mean, I feel like Krishan wanted her sister jumped because she wanted her sister to play the B role, like the back role to her front role on the show. And Tasiki is getting a lot of camera time and getting a lot of scenes. So I don't think Krishan likes that. So out of nowhere in the scene, you hear, whoa, Vicky, <laughs> screaming, um, Jesus lives and Jesus is the way. <laughs> like I've said before, I love Jesus, but well, Vicky, this is not the time or the place. So it's like, why are you playing with God like this? So as soon as well, Vicky starts screaming for Jesus. Krishan sends Janet after Janet got pushed down by Mariah Lynn to go beat up Well, Vicky. So Janet rushes Well, Vicky. And surprisingly, Well, Vicky got a couple hits in. And um, Sky is in the background kicking. That would have been me. Because Well, Vicky, why are you like this? It just doesn't make any sense. Um, she should have just beat the, like, I mean, well, Vicky should have just stayed quiet, but like, I don't know, like, well, Vicky gives like false prophet. I've said this before. She gives like fake preacher. She gives that she's using Jesus's name for cloud. And I don't feel bad for her. If I was like any of the other girls, I wouldn't have went to go talk to her to make sure she was okay or anything. Because after she finished fighting, she was like, that was fun. I want to do it again. And then she's saying that, oh, like we don't fight uh flesh and blood like it's a spiritual war like and Krishan is the devil and she's supposed to be a woman of god but well vicky you're supposed to be a woman of god and you're on the baddies east cast so why are you here um i'm super excited that this is well vicky's last scene and that she is going home because i'm so tired of talking about her ass sidebar um, even though I don't agree with what Krishan's friends did or Krishan's like plan of action, I wish I had friends like Krishan because they really got beat up for her. And then after getting beat up, still wants to go fight again. I need some friends like that. I wonder what they zodiac signs are because I would love a, a really loyal friend. Um, yeah. Okay, so then the next scene, they flash to Natalie's bus. And on this bus is Natalie. Hi, my name is T. Um, Rolly didn't go out. Natalie, hi, my name is T. Scotty, and I think that's it. Mm, yeah. And um, they're discussing what happened between Well Vicky and um, Krishan's friends. And, um, you know, Scotty is making excuses. Even though I really like Scotty this season, Scotty is making excuses for the way that, um, that, well, Vicky has behaved. And, like, T is really not trying to hear it. So, out of nowhere, T starts yelling at Scotty, like, literally yelling at her. And T has always given me multiple personalities. Like, even if you go through T Instagram, it's like on one row, she this person, on the next row, she this person. On the next row, she do R&B. On the next row, she rap. On the next row, she do country. So I don't really know who she is. I feel like she has multiple personalities. But she starts screaming at um, Scotty because I guess T don't play about Jesus either. And um, T reveals that she grew up in like a Christian cult group and the things that well, Vicky was doing like in vain uh, were triggering her. So I hope that T talks about this a little bit more because I think that's very interesting. Um, oh, I keep clicking off the notes. Okay, so um, the girls arrive at the club. Um, Krishan opens the show. And surprisingly, um, Tzatziki is in the back vibing to her sister's song even after her sister didn't set her up. Um... I respect that. Um, also, shockingly, the club was packed. 
Um, and the Baltimore crowd was being really nice and supportive to the baddies. Wasn't no eggs thrown, wasn't no booze. They were being really supportive. Um, as soon as Tzatziki got on stage to do her set, um, Krishan left, which I thought was rude, but I'm not surprised. Who else performed that night? Um, Hi, My Name is T performed. Her song was cute. Mariah Lynn performed. Okay, I want to talk about Mariah Lynn. So Mariah Lynn is like such a cute girl. She's like small and petite, very sweet and funny. But as soon as she grabs a microphone, she turns into like some hard New Jersey rapper. And it's not given authentic. Like, I like Mariah Lynn's old songs. Like, a long, long time ago, I was a hoe. And I admit it. Like, y'all remember that song? Like, I like those vibes from Mariah Lynn. Like, the hard Jersey rap isn't for her. But, in my opinion... But her song is cute. The little dance that goes with her song is cute. I really like her as a person in general. Um, and I also like the relationship that Mariah is building with Tzatziki. I just feel like Mariah is an overall good friend because I remember Mariah stood up for her sister. Um, she stood up for Tzatziki, and I just feel like she's a good person. What is very cringe, though, is Smiley trying to be cool with Mariah Lynn after you took this girl chain. Like... Why do you feel like you could, like, wrong somebody and just because y'all are in the same setting, like, be super cool with them, dancing on them? Like, ew. Like, I'm with Mariah on this. Like, girl, if I don't like you, stay away from me. Like, why are you trying to dance on me? That was so cringe. I don't know how I feel about Smiley. I rem Do y'all remember in um, episode three when Roly was like, like, Smiley seems cool, but it's something off about her? I agree with Roly because it's definitely something off about her. Um, another sidebar, in previous seasons of Baddies, that they, they usually, like, split them, like, they usually get paid for their bookings, and then they split the money. I haven't seen no money exchange in any episode. So it's just, like, you guys are already getting beat up for pay, obviously, because that's a part of the ep of the show. But are you getting paid to go out? Is Natalie pocketing the money? Are you guys busting it down like they used to in, in older episodes? Like, there's no way I would be doing all this, going out, getting eggs thrown at me, performing, doing all this, meeting fans, all this for free, like, ever in life. So if anybody has the answer to that question, just leave it down in the comments. I want to know if these girls are performing for free, because that's what it's giving. Um, okay, so then it cuts to Anna Max's performance. I think she's, like, the closing episode. It's also her and DJ Sky's birthday today. Um, Anna Max's voice is beautiful, like, literally literally angelic but I mean I guess she just wanted to take her like little two minutes of whatever fame or whatever and do her little performance but is Anna black because in her song she said nigga three times like that was the first things that I heard of her nigga 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 and I'm like is she black because she get Mexican or like Dominican or Hispanic or something like that like don't say nigga no more Anna because you didn't already got beat up once don't say it again. So they get on the bus, and um, this flashes back to the fun bus. That's Smiley, Sky, Camila, my girls, the uh, Sia, the one, sorry, Saya, the one that be, the ones that be having fun. And Smiley comes out with this trash bag of food, and she said it's a jail meal. So she said that she then made some jail jambalaya, and seasoned it with vegetables. Is that a thing? Is that like a real jail meal? I've never heard of it. Oh, well, she's seasoned her jail meal with vegetables, and she is feeding the girls out of the trash bag, the jambalaya. Like, what? Like, I don't know. She was serving it out the trash bag. I don't know. All I know is I would never eat anything out of a trash bag. Like, and the girls are sitting there eating it, and Camila gets on her confessional, and she's like, oh, my God, like, this is so nasty. But then the camera flashes back to her eating it, bitch. She was hungry. My mama used to tell me that you'll eat anything when you're hungry. But I just, a trash bag, I wouldn't have eaten that. Okay, so the fun bus is going to meet the other girls at Natalie's house. And um, the girls pull up to the house. And obviously, they meet outside. Natalie's like, hey, you guys, like, we're off to the next city. We're going to Philly. And I want you guys to squash whatever beefs you guys have before we be, you know, before we go to the next city. I don't want to take 
existing beefs with us to the next city. So if you guys want to talk it out, if y'all want to fight it out, now is the time before we get on the bus. Um, so um, Scotty takes this time to um, approach Anna Mac because you know they got into a fight on the first episode. And Scotty was like, you know, I just want to know where we stand. Like, is it beef? Are we going to be fighting every day? Do you want to call it truce? Um, Anna Mac it was just too proud to apologize. Like, girl, you should have just told Scotty that you're raising a white flag and y'all good. You already, I don't want to say Scotty got beat up, but you already beat her up. So, like, if somebody is apologizing to me that I already beat up, just take the apology. But see, Anna Mac's mouth begin her into shit that she can't get herself out of. Because then after um, Scotty asks, like, Anna Mac, hey, what's up? Out of nowhere, DJ Sky rushes Anna Mac, and it pops over to a clip of where Anna was talking shit about DJ Sky on Instagram. So, um, so here comes Sky, DJ Sky. Hi. Not Sky Days. DJ Sky High. Um, Sky comes in, basically rushing on a Mac, and then it flashes over to next time on Baddies. Um, DJ Sky is a cool girl, but I don't know if she can fight because she started kicking. And I feel like any bitch that kick you in a fight can't fight. And, like, Anna Mac is so small, and I feel like people be underestimating her because, of, because she's small. But, like, DJ Sky High is literally, like, swinging. She's not covering her face. And I just don't know if she could fight for real. Um, if, you, if you guys agree with me or don't agree with me, could you just leave it in the comments? I don't know. I feel like DJ Sky High got into it with somebody else. I know that she got into it with Tommy. She don't want that smoke at all. But I feel like she got in another fight. If it's anywhere, like, on online that DJ Sky High got into a fight, I want to see it. Because from this clip, it doesn't give that she could fight. But, yeah, so that is um, basically all of my points and reviews for Baddies Episode 5. I might go ahead and still do a Baddies Episode 4. I don't know if you guys are going to watch that because I'm kind of late. So I'm going to go ahead and put out five. I might record four for you guys on Thursday, and then I'll try to keep, um, try to stay on track for the rest of um, the episodes. Um, make sure you guys tune into Basketball Wives Orlando, 10, 9 Central on Mondays, starring moi. Um, we're on episode three of that show. Um, I need you guys, um, I know you guys are like Bad Girls Club supporters and Betty supporters, but if you support me, I need you guys to transfer over to Basketball Wives on Mondays. You got Betty Sundays, you got Basketball Wives Mondays. I need y'all to be hashtagging Team Megan, tweeting who you like, who you don't like, and et cetera, because we're trying to get a season two. So I need you guys' support there. And once again, I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm at 74,000, I believe. Um, so like, comment, and subscribe this video if you want more baddies reviews. Don't forget about the $1,000 giveaway. Um... The link will be in the comments below, and don't forget about my new book. It's called Good Head, Aligning Your Thoughts and Actions for Success. The link to this book is in the comments below, too. You can get it on Amazon. Okay, I'm done. Until next time. I need to get, like, a little clappy button. I'll just use that. Until next time.